You seen it. Uh what it is and what it do. Damn it. Boss here. I'm out moving and shaking a little bit. The 25th of July. <clears throat> this month almost gone. This year almost gone. Take advantage of all the opportunity you have. Because if it's based on a clock or a calendar, you're limited. You're limited. So you really can't afford to take too much, or if any, days off. Have mercy. I said it. Use your time wisely. You know what I'm saying? Uh, phrasing that. When you talk, a lot of times, can I talk to you? Let me talk to you. Don't put a lot of effort in progressing forward an immovable object. Okay? Don't let them peepers from the outside looking in encourage you and force you to keep doing things that you know provide you no progress and no satisfaction. The one thing God cannot do, and won't do, and I'm glad he damn don't do it, is force your hand and alter your will. You know what that mean? I'll tell you what it mean. If I don't give you every warning, every precaution, and you still take your ass off in there and get toe up? Okay. <laughs> if there's anything left to salvage, bring it to God. Here, take it. Bring it to God. Eyes wide open. Bring it to God. Stay near the cross. Bring it to God. But if you insist and you don't make it, you know, your heart and your spirit had to be in the right place before you went in there. But it probably wasn't because you went in there. <laughs> yeah, ain't no sorrow there. You know, me and a couple other people, including Major Payne, you'll find our sympathy in between shit and syphilis. So keep your book handy and look it up if you need it, because I ain't got nothing for you. I done went against the precautions, I done did things that was wrong, and I done felt the heat of how it hurt when I knew better and didn't do better. I was shown better, you know, and I wasn't in tune enough to make the right call. And it hurt. It hurt. It was always serious because I was always destined for something big. So when it hurt me, it hurt a lot. You know, when you just jacking off half ass doing stuff anyway, yeah, you're going to get little nicks, bumps and bruises and you might heal so fast. You don't know to, to think next time and you may get hurt again, but it's too small for you to really recognize when you get closer to your destiny. God got plans for you, so he has to hurt you when you don't do right. Mama got to whoop you when you don't do right. Daddy got to beat your ass when you don't do right. Because you've been taught, you've been told, you've been shown. So it can't just be no pat on the hand or go to time out. No, you got to get your ass jacked up a little bit. You got to get fucked off a little bit. That's what's necessary for you to stay on the path and salvage what little chance you have at achieving your, dream, your dreams. Yeah, that's true. That's right. Those are appropriately used cuss words. That's what they're You know? Don't waste your effort trying to move an immovable object. You know? You know how them are sports announcers and color men on TV, ESPN and stuff like that? You'll be standing there pushing a rock. This rock is eight times your size. And they're telling everybody in the stands and in the crowd watching you, look at the effort of this mind. He would not be denied. He has incredible endurance. That fool is about to die and kill himself right here in front of everybody on TV. Shut your ass. You're trying to move an immovable object. You're trying to give grace and glory to stupidity. You know what I'm saying? Stop that. Stop that. You know? The girl... Oh, shit. Juicy Lucy, the most grotesque of all the five girls in the middle of the club and her four girlfriends who are equally as hideous 
dancing around her talking about, ow, yeah, go girl, whoop, whoop, getting behind her, acting like they would want to hunt her. Hell, nobody else would, but you think you, you're making her feel good by acting like you would if you swung that way? We see that. We see that. It's in the club. Matter of fact, Plies proposed that as a question the other day. What anybody supposed to think when they see a group of girls surrounding their friends, grabbing on them, hugging on them, hunting them, table dancing them, lap dancing them around everybody else? What are they supposed to think? That this girl is so insatiable, so desirable, even I want her, and you should want her too? No. If anybody wanted her, she'd be with them. She wouldn't be here. Or they'd be together. And she wouldn't be in the middle of four other girls. <laughs> The eyelashes and the clothes and the dresses and the skirts and the heels is, to, is just trying to cover up the hurt of why I got to dress like this to get attention when I really would rather be in something way more comfortable with somebody I really, really like. You're trying to push the agenda of something you don't even really want. I don't fall for it, but if that's what you do, that's what you do. I don't know how many I don't know how many band-aids it take to cover a gunshot wound, but keep trying. Keep trying. I imagine it get rather costly. Don't try to move in a movable object. Don't try to force yourself in a situation that you don't have no business in. And don't try to force yourself on nobody. Okay? When you really do believe you in a real relationship, you don't fight to keep it. You just fight to get it. If that person realizes your efforts, hopefully your efforts and their efforts match. They put up just as much as you did to be there. Now it's up to y'all whether you keep it or leave it. It was worth it or it wasn't. You can make a mistake. Don't be scared. Be by yourself. If you feel that one person means you alone, then there was something wrong all along. You should have had a mama, daddy, cousin, uncle, aunt, nephew, niece, the Lord himself. You Somebody in your life. But you need to be wanted in a, in a different way. Well, then say that. Don't say ain't nobody. You ain't got nobody. I ain't got nobody. You're on the phone with somebody in my mind. I ain't got nobody. But you got me. Yeah, but you my friend. But you got your mama. Well, mama got to love me. Well, what about the Lord? The Lord love everybody. That ain't enough. You want that one person to be that one thing. Well, then say that. If you think that way, you will feel that way and you won't feel alone. Because you're not alone. You fall from being alone. You know, you want raggedy ass, musky ass. <laughs> you want one of these reject dudes from out the park so you can say you got somebody? Then say that. And then, yeah, go for that. But don't feel like you're alone if you ain't got it. That's just one thing you got to work on. Maybe he wants somebody with really, really low self esteem that wears really, really provocative clothes that really, really ain't got no aims to be nothing except what he wanted to be. Somebody to call you old lady. Somebody to whoop on you when you do wrong. Somebody to get mad at you when you're out late. You feel that's a, you feel you got somebody there, right? But then let's say that's what you want. Because that's what you take a relationship as. That's what you take a meaning for relationship is supposed to be. I get it. I see it. So if you'd rather that than being alone, okay, okay. Well, you got other issues to deal with. When you get to that point, good luck. Good luck. But if you're really in a relationship, you know you're in a relationship, and you come to your, uh, the crossroads in that, well, the thing about that is sometimes you feel like you should not have to keep on selling out just to keep that. It's good, it's good, it's good, it's bad. But when it's bad, it's always bad the same way. It's, the same, it's bad because it's something that continually reoccurs. So guess what? The apologies get a lot cheaper. The I'm sorry's is a lot less meaningful. The makeup ain't even a makeup. <laughs> when you pretend or act like you're making up for it, you just go back to the basics. Calling every day, talking every day, you know, making up conversations every day. But that situation wasn't no more resolved than when it happened. But you just willing to look over it because hell, how much longer is this shit, this shit gonna go on? How long am I going to continue to say I'm in a relationship but not feel like I'm in one? You feel like you're selling out. Okay. You want to go get something to eat? Yeah, let's go eat together. Then it's like we are together. No, you're not. No, you're not. 
tell yourself that lie enough, there's a little bit of you that's lost. A little bit of you that's lost. You know? It's like somebody asking you, you mind working on Saturday? Fuck yeah, I mind working on Saturday. I don't want to work on Saturday. You want the job or not? Okay. <laughs> I'll bring the donuts. You bring the fucking donuts. You bring the fucking donuts. After a while, it will start to begin to feel like a dead-end job, a dead-end relationship, same thing. There's no future in this. It'll continually be what it's gonna be. And until you branch out on your own and put that same amount of effort and stock into yourself, you have to have that other part to make it work. So you have to have that job. You don't think about self, uh, self-employed self businesses. You don't think about entrepreneurship. You only think within the realms of a job. Somebody employing me, somebody hiring me. You ain't got to hire me, you can't hire me. <laughs> the price tag is too big for you to even think about hiring me. My services, I can offer you that, but that's about it. I am the immovable object.